I am Adil Kumar sharing with you solution of a question from my subscriber. The question here is, the pages in Rama's diary are rectangular and not square. Both the length and the width are measured in whole centimeters. The perimeter of each page is 44 centimeters. What could be the area of each page? So let me first thank you for posting an excellent question and try my best to answer. So we'll begin always with a sketch if possible. So rectangle is not difficult to make, let's do it. And in a rectangle, we will define L as length and W as width. What are we given? We are given that the perimeter is 44 centimeter, right? So perimeter which is sum of sides, right, is equals to 44, right. So we'll reuse units later, 44. That really means twice length since opposite sides are equal, correct. So that means twice length plus twice width for this particular rectangle. Now we can divide all by 2, right. So what we have here is we have 44 equals to twice length plus twice width. So next step I will do divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2. Correct? So what do we get? We get 22 equals to length plus width. That is sum of these two sides. Sum of these two sides is 22 for us. Correct? Now this is a simple equation and with this equation we can find all whole numbers so all whole centimeters uh, which will give us 22 do you get the idea correct so what i will do now here is make a table okay so let me make a table here so in this table i will provide you with possible values of length and width length and width, right? All are in centimeters, all are in centimeters. So that when you add them, you get 22. Is it okay? When you add them, you get 22. So what are the values? We should start with zero or one. I think one is okay, correct? Zero means no triangle or no rectangle, right? So if length is one, width should be 21, correct? So 21 plus one is 22. That's the whole idea, correct? Now, if I take this as 2, then this becomes 20, 20 plus 2. So, likewise, you can just add these values. Is it okay? Uh, you know, kind of like this. Now, somewhere in between, you will get 11 and 11, which is also 22. Now, the question says that not square. So, it says not square. So, this value we will not consider. Is it okay? Because we are saying not square. Correct? And then we can write this as 12. Now, if I write this as 12, it becomes 10. And if I write this as 13, it becomes 9. And so on. Till the end, we'll get 21 here and 1 here. Do you see that? That makes 22. So, likewise, you can list all possible values. Perfect. Now, what do we need? What could be the area? So what are we looking for? We are looking for area, correct? So what could be the area? So area A. So let's write down the possible area. Is it okay? What is area? Area is product of length and width. That is length times width equals to area. Perfect. So now we should multiply these two. So when I multiply these two, 21 times 1 is 21, 20 times 2 is 40, correct? Remember, the area will be in centimeters squared. So write down your units. And then we got 3 times 19, 3, 9, 27, 7, 2, 50. And likewise, you can use your calculator. 8 times 4, 32, 3, 72, and so on. Now this is 121 which normally is maximum area. 
However, we are not considering that, right? And you'll see that it increases to 121 and then decreases. Let me write down this 120. Do you see? 120. And 13 times 9, 57. These values will repeat. Do you see that? So, so we get an area which is kind of like this. So if I say in the center we get area, this is like, let me write down area. And uh, on this side, okay, let me use a different ink. Um, okay, so I'm just showing you what possible values we could get. Okay, so this is what. So we have some values. We'll start with one, two, kind of like this. Is that okay? We are calculating these values. Is it okay? So what we'll figure out is that the maximum which it will go to is 121, which we are not considering, okay? And the least area will be 21. The units of area will be centimeters square, perfect? And here we are taking length in centimeters. And these dots are my integer values, which are given here. So these are all the possible values of, uh, which you can plot here, one, two, I can say uh, 10, right? So 1 to 10. So the combination will be, uh, the length could be, length could be from 1 to, oh, you can write 21, right? For width as from 21 to 1, correct? And the area as uh, from 21 to, to, to 40 to <laughs> 121, but do not include 121, okay? So those are possible values of area. But I hope with this concept, you understand how to find the whole centimeter values, the numbers which will give you perimeter of 44 centimeter and some other area. You notice that area is maximum for a square. Since the question says not square, do not include this, very simple include all other values does make sense to you so i hope that's absolutely clear feel free to write your comments and share your views thank you for posting the question and keep posting thank you and all the best